Do you know what guys, when I first decided to film today's video outside, it was a beautiful sunny day and that was only about an hour ago and then typical London, the weather has changed like that and now you've got a grey overcast backdrop behind me and it's a bit cold out here. But we're going to stick with the plan anyway and what I want to talk about today is something that I think ranks up there as one of the most important lessons for new traders. And in fact, for experienced traders as well, because the truth is lots of people that think they're experienced aren't as experienced as they think they are and probably not as good as they think they are either. So what I'm going to do is in a minute, I'm going to share with you a clip from a talk from 2008 from the billionaire investor Tom Barrack. Now, I know a lot of you are going to cringe when you hear that name because you don't agree with his political views. But in this particular talk, the stuff that he's saying, the advice that he's giving is really good. And I agree wholeheartedly with it. And it's basically around the whole idea of new traders needing to understand the risks in the market and the need to learn your tools and concepts and gain experience in many different situations so that when situations arise, then you can deal with that situation in the context that it presents itself in and not just apply some cookie cutter process that you've got that only really works in one particular situation. And we see this all the time. Uh, new traders, I think one of the worst things that can happen to them in a lot of cases is to make money, to profit because they think it's easy then. And then some process that they've been using, they're going to think it works time and time again. When the chances are, it was all based on luck and it wasn't that that was working. It's just false causality. We've seen it recently with cryptocurrencies and Bitcoin, where lots of people became overnight cryptocurrency traders. And it was only because whatever simple process they were using would work as long as they were going long because the price kept going up and up and up. And then inevitably what happens at some point, the market goes sideways ways or crashes and these people soon realize that they don't have the tools or the experience to deal with different situations apart from a bull market. We see it every decade with the stock market. When it goes into a bull market, everyone's suddenly a genius stock picker, starts giving advice about it. But the reality is when the market changes, when the price is not constantly going up, these people don't really know what they're doing. And you know, even people that are trading things like Forex, I see it all the time where they've got some indicator or some pattern in the market that's going to show them what to do. Then they make 10% on a trade, think they're a genius, when the reality was they were lucky that a news release pushed the market in the direction they wanted it to at that moment in time. They don't realize then the risks that are involved in the way that they're trading. So this is where the clip that I want to show you comes into it. Now, Tom Barrack uses the analogy of surfing to explain it, and I think it's a great way to explain it, but it's all about out, learning your tools, mastering them, and being able to adapt based on the context. So, hope you enjoy. When we look at what are what are the what are the real differences between alpha and beta, what what are the are the real attributes of of what all of you who are in school today are going to need in the workforce and what all of you who are in the workforce need as a competitive tool, it ends up being that you've, you've got to have the clubs in your bag, right? You, you, you need to find a discipline and then you need to start working on the tools. And the golf course will change. The sand traps will change, the fairways will change, but, but the tools that you develop over time will be what, you, what you're able to utilize. You have to find extraordinary risk but you have to practice extraordinary risk. And that's the key. So in our business, the ingredients to produce extraordinary returns is be prepared and master how to take and find extraordinary risk. And, and that's, that's really what we've done. And it's exactly analogous to, to surfing. I'm gonna show you this isn't like, just a clip. It's not a game, this isn't a joke. It's not like just something that you just go out and do. It, this is something that's, uh, it, it's serious. This is life-threatening every second, and and uh, I think the, personally, the, it's incredible to see the lack of of uh, appreciation for the power of this wave. There's a lot of jockeying going on. I can see everybody's just looking towards the right, and you know they can't even see that the left even exists at Piahi. So. The set's coming, I'm, I look to Laird and I go, hey, just set me up with the left, I don't even care about the right. So I take off on this left, and all of a sudden it was much calmer, and there was a bit of uh, just quietness.
it was like now we were able to separate ourselves because for a while, like the last couple of years, just with all these people coming and they, now it's got to a point where it's so chaotic, such a circus that we can detach ourselves from it in a way. You know what's funny? I felt more safe with all the sharks over on the left side than with all the people over on the right side. <laughs> <laughs> That summarizes. That's the end of my presentation. <laughs> right? It says everything. When you're in the middle of the crowds, the tailwind has, has been right on our fanny. So for the last 10 years, all of us have been brilliant. Why? Because the momentum has just been carrying us upward only. And the packs and the amateurs join in that phenomenon. And to separate yourself from that pack, to get, to get out of the way, is, is the key. Anticipation is everything. It's, it's those years of knowledge and wisdom of wandering through those jungles to find elephants and tigers and giraffes that perhaps you weren't looking for that all go to this cadre of experiential stuff that when you go to draw on is there. And, and being quick on that trigger and being able to adapt instantly to change your point of view. Which is why when I say it's, it's the, the tools in your, in your golf bag, it's not so much the golf course. It's the key because it goes from a sand trap to a green in an instant. And if you're invested in just hitting out of sand traps, and there's not a sand trap there, you're in big trouble. All the training that I've done with Laird and Derek and Brett and the strap crew and the windsurfing and everything I've done to this point has helped prepare me for a bad situation and to enjoy what I am being given, the rides, the waves. You know, it's not just a matter of surviving, but it's a matter of uh, riding and, and performing. A lot of these people have skipped a lot of steps because they want to go out and ride this wave. And I can understand why. It's a, it's, it's a draw, it's exciting, it's a sense of accomplishment, it's all these things. But I think they might be taking some, some unnecessary risks. You can't cheat that many steps and think that you're uh, you're going to be able to pull it off for that long. And, and I think that's the bottom line message. is You can't cheat the process. It's it's time in the saddle. When it, when a wind is at your back, momentum looks every, it makes everything look great. The wind is now on our head. It's a different time. And those who took the shortcuts, made it look simple, will have a, a difficult time. I really love that last bit of advice. You can't cheat the process. I know everyone wants to make trading and investing simple, and I think it's a good thing to keep things simple, but only as simple as they need to be, and not simpler than that. A lot of people want to be like, you know what, I want to learn something for a month or two, and then I want to start trading and make money. And that's just not how it works. You can't cheat the process. You have to learn your tools properly. You have to go through different experiences. You have to put in the work. If you truly want to make this a career for yourself, if you want to be successful with this, if you enjoy what you're doing, then be willing to put in the work, put in the hours, the months, even years, before you start trading live or before you start expecting to make big profits. You're often not as good as you think you are. Look up the Dunning-Kruger effect. I've spoken about it before. A lot of people are fall into that category of you know thinking that they know everything because they know this little bit. You need to experience things and whatever you're doing now, question yourself. Is it going to work in other situations? Should I maybe learn more? Should I broaden my horizons? And if that's the case, then respect you for being self-aware enough to know it and to put in the work. So I think that's all for now. If you want to understand more about how I trade, then there should be a link on the screen soon. And there's definitely one in the description box to go and check out our free course so you can learn the foundations of how I'm trading, the Duomo method. And if you like this video, please do hit the thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any future videos and leave a comment below letting me know which bit you liked most about Tom Barrack's talk and if you agree with what he was saying. I'll see you in the next video guys. Bye bye.